Spider, written by Lydia Monks, published by Houghton Mifflin. It's really lonely being a spider. I want to be a, a family pet, this family's pet. I know, I'll show them what a great dancer I am. None of their pets can dance like me. Look at me, watch me dance. Ah, spider, out you go. Oh dear, I know, I'll show them how clean I am. None of their pets are clean like me. Look at me, watch me wash. Ah, spider, out you go. Oh dear. I know. I'll show them how easy I am to look after. None of their pets can feed themselves like I can. Look at me. Watch me eat. Ah, Spider! Out you go. It's no good. This family will never want me. I'm going to go and live all alone in the backyard. Look out here, everybody. Look at those sparkly webs. That spider is so clever. Maybe she'd make a good pet. Look, they do want me. Look at me, watch me ride. Look at me, watch me shop. Look at me, watch me swing. I'm a real, true, proper pet. In fact, I'm so happy with my new family, I think I'll introduce them to all my friends. Ah! Spiders! There are some spiders that are very scary out there. This one is not. This is a garden spider I've been watching in my backyard for the last couple of weeks. And as you can see, it has spun a, an orb web, which is a web that is done in circles with tag lines radiating out uh, from the inside. So this spider has caught some dinner and has wrapped it up and is going to save it for later. Today we're going to make an orb web just like this one using crayons and paper and watercolor. For this project, you're going to need some watercolor paper. You're going to need a set of crayons or a couple of dark crayons. I'm using my beeswax crayons, but you can use any sort of crayons for this project. A watercolor uh, paint box. I have a paint box that has warm colors and cool colors in it, a paper towel and a paintbrush, and of course some water. The reason I'm talking about warm colors and cool colors is because when you create your background for your orb web, you might want to think about where the web has been woven. Is it on a warm sunny day in your backyard? Is it in a park when it's cool and breezy out? Is it the season of autumn or summer, or is it in winter or late fall when it gets cold outside? So you'll see that my granddaughter Avery is going to choose two different backgrounds, and she's going to make a warm background as if it was a summer day, or she's going to make a cool background. Let's get started. Avery's going to start her orb web with a dot somewhere in the middle of her paper. It doesn't have to be right in the middle. And then she's going to draw some lines from side to side. So essentially she's creating a star. These are the tag lines that the spider uses, the spokes, to hold its web together. So she's going to go from side to side until she feels like she's got enough spokes for her orb web to stay together. And then she's going to start towards the middle and she's going to make some lines from one spoke to another. 
Now Avery's using curvy lines, but you'll see another example here where we just used rounded lines and all we're doing is connecting each spoke to the other one. And you go around and around until the whole paper is full. These spokes are what keep the spider attached to wherever it's built its web. It might be on my, in my, on my deck, it's on a big geranium plant, but the spider also used the edges of the deck to attack, attach its spokes. Or it might be in your garden, in a plant, or it might just be hanging in the middle of the air and the spokes go from your roof to a tree to your porch. It's hard to say. It's really fun to try and figure out where a spider has attached its spokes. So you'll see now that Avery's going to go all around the paper until her paper is completely full. I'm going to speed up this video so you can see the end product. <laughs> to do a wet on wet technique on her web. This is the web she drew where she just did circles to connect the spokes around the whole paper. So wet on wet means that you're going to put water onto the paper. The crayon won't change because it's made of wax. That's called crayon resist. The water can't change it or the paint can't change it. And then she's going to start picking up paint and just putting it down in the water. You've seen this on some of our other videos and the paint will move the water around and make a beautiful effect. So Avery decided to choose cool colors as if she'd found this web outside on a, on a maybe a dark rainy day in the garden. So you'll see her use the cool colors which are green, blue, and purple. We're not going to use black or brown on this project because that would muddy it up, although there are days that are kind of dark and black and brown. But we're going to use warm colors or cool colors. So she's going to fill this paper up with all of the cool colors. She's doing purple, green, and blue. She's going to pick the paper up and let the water move around and let the paint move around to have some beautiful effects. You want to be careful not to put too much water on there, but you can always add more paint. The more paint you pick up on your brush, the darker your colors are going to be. So Avery's going to finish this one, and then we'll do an example of a warm background with the yellow and the red and the orange. I've decided to do a warm color background with the orange, the yellow, and the red. But I'm not doing a wet on wet technique. I'm doing wet on dry, so I'm just taking the paint, adding a little water to wake it up, and then painting it on a dry background. But once again, remember the crayon won't change because it's made of wax and it resists water. When we're all finished, of course, we need to add a spider. So we'll let these dry and then we'll grab a crayon or a pencil or a marker, whatever you choose to use. It doesn't really matter because your painting should be dry. And we're going to draw a spider. Remember, spiders have two body parts, not three like an insect. And they have eight legs. And did you know that they have eight eyes? 
not always easy to get eight eyes on the top of a spider, but we'll try. So Avery's going to draw a black widow because she really likes those, and she's drawing hers on her page, and then I'll add a garden spider onto my warm color background. Avery's decided to draw a black widow spider. And they are dangerous, but most spiders are not dangerous. Most spiders are helpful. Spiders are not insects. They are in the family of arachnids. They have two body parts instead of three, like insects do. They have eight legs and eight eyes. Avery is drawing her spider on the outside of her web instead of on the inside of her web. All right, I'm going to add my garden spider. I decided to start with the brown. I'm gonna make him pretty big so you can see him. There's the body part. Put his head over here, a little bit smaller. And then we need to add some legs. So one, two, three, four on this side and four on the other side. And then they've got these little spinnerets on the back and that's how they do their, they make their webs. And then I'm gonna color this part in, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green because I think there's a little bit of green and brown mixed in on a garden spider, you'd have to look at a real photo. You can draw any kind of spider you want, but not all spiders spin orb webs and then his head and he's got some antenna on the top and then of course it will try and get some eyes on here i think they're all towards the top of his head there you go there's my garden spider and if you want to add some other kinds of details like things that the garden spider has caught like possibly maybe there's a little ant back here. Ants have three body parts. And then you'll know that the spider is going to pounce on him and wrap him up and have him for dinner another time. Spiders are good for our environment. Not all of them are poisonous. Most of them are not. And they're good for us because they eat the insects that we don't want on our plants or even in our house. All right, I hope you have fun with this project. Experiment with different kinds of webs. Learn more about spiders.